nursing home in Erlanger is being sued for allegedly providing, quote, worthless care leading to several deaths. Nine News reporter Adam Marshall is joining us now to explain why this lawsuit goes back several years. Adam? Yeah, Tanya, the U.S. Attorney's Office has filed a civil suit against Villa Spring Care and Rehabilitation in Erlanger, as well as Villa Spring's parent company, CareSpring Healthcare Management. Among other things, this lawsuit claims from 2004 to 2008, numerous patients suffered serious injuries resulting from worthless care. Five of those patients died. Nine News first told you about this investigation back in 2007. The lawsuit also says the nursing home, quote, billed Medicare and Medicaid for services purportedly provided to its residents, despite knowing that the services were so inadequate that they were essentially worthless. It goes on to say Villa Springs defrauded Medicare and Medicaid by submitting bills for reimbursement for providing systematically poor resident care. Now, if found liable, the nursing home would be fined between $5,500 to $11,000 per false claim. They would also have to repay Medicare and Medicaid three times the amount taken. Now, we have calls into both the attorney's office as well as the nursing home, and we'll be working on the story throughout the day. Stay with 9 News and WCPO.com for more on this breaking story. Tanya. Adam, such an important story for so many families. Thanks.